Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. So a radical equation, of course, is just an equation that has a radical in it. So here's an example. Square root of negative x plus 7 equals negative 2. We're going to solve that equation to reverse the operation of taking the square root we're going to square. And we have to do the same thing on both sides. Now, whenever you raise both sides to an even power, this introduces a possibility of an error. Why? Well, let's say we had the equation which is false. Negative 3 equals 3 is a false equation. We could actually turn it into a true equation by just squaring both sides, right? That would mean 9 equals 9, which is actually true. So by squaring both sides, we introduced, we took a false equation, turned it into a true equation. That's a problem because it could be our original equation was false and we turned it into a true. So you always have to check your answer. Extraneous solutions are possible. So keep that in mind as we solve. So if we square the square root, it cancels out. We get negative x plus 7. If we square negative 2, we get 4. To get x by itself, we subtract 7. So we get negative x equals negative 3. And then what? Divide by negative, Divide by negative 1. Good. So x is equal to 3 is a possible solution, but we have to check. So we check. We plug back into the square root putting in a 3 instead of an x, negative 3 plus 7. We want to know, is that equal to negative 2? Well, that's the square root of 4, which means 2 equals negative 2. Definitely no, right? Okay, so what does that tell us about our solution set? It's a false equation, and so the solution set is empty. So you could write no solution. You could write this symbol for the empty set. You could even put just brackets with nothing in them. How could you have known, looking back at the original equation, how could you have expected that we were going to get no solution? If you were really savvy there. A negative answer to a square root. Very good. So you can't take the square root and get a negative. Unfortunately, it's not always that obvious. But in this particular case, you didn't actually have to go through the steps if you noticed that the square root's never going to turn out to be a negative number. Very good. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please remember to like it.